third. I'll tell you why they wouldn't. <laughs> Yes, we are Why Wouldn't We? Woo! And we're going to, as usual, present readings from fictitious books by fictitious authors. This one entitled A Dietary Change <laughs> by Blofart Smith. <laughs> Chapter 3, page 33. Three, 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 three. You know, uh, Rock Mop, oh. I would have never guessed that you uh, had a head transplant, transplant recently until you told me. I mean, you, you have no neck scars or anything that would indicate uh, you had it done. I read once there's something like a 93.7% uh, survival rate of those going through uh, with this type of thing. Is that true? Asked Flu Plan. <laughs> it's true. But there are also some after effects sometimes, answered Rock Pop. Really? Questioned Flu Plan. By the way, I thought you were going to bring your wife so I could meet her. Well, uh, you see, as to those after effects, I was about to, well, tell you about, uh, I, uh, he began stammering. It caused me to start thinking differently. It caused a dietary change in my life, that of craving human flesh. So, uh, I devoured my wife. In fact, you're starting to look pretty delicious yourself. <laughs> I've never tasted male meat. Where do you keep the knives? Chapter 33. Page 49. Paragraph 333. Three, three, three. <laughs> As Rock Mop continued to terrorize the countryside, his infamy grew. Because of the huge overpopulation, Rock Mop became a folk hero to many. Uh, and many of them wanted an official Rock Mop tattoo. Spit Spot and Rock Mop shared in the official tattoo royalty business. One day, Rock Mop dropped by Spit Spot's office and said, I'm really sorry about this, and I'm going to have to kill and eat you. Then he turned on his chainsaw and went to work. Chapter 64. 
page 1109. I'm so glad you're cured, Brahma, explained Rascalia. And I heard they dropped those charges against you for eating all those people. She smiled. She drove the two of them to sing. 